Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Lamplight City. We're back at the apartments. We've managed to convince Kurt to head back home and hopefully now that might let his wife tell us some information. So we're going to give that a go. Ah, Mr. Fordham. Thank you so much for getting Kurt back home. No worries. Don't mention it. Now, would you be willing to answer some questions? Well, yes, of course. Nice, okay. So we can talk to her. Uh, herself first. How long have you been living here? Well, Kurt and I moved in shortly after we were married, so it's been about 34 years. Wow, a long time. Goodness, that's a long time to be living in one place. Yes, well, the building may be a bit run down, and it gets colder than cold in the winter, but the rent has always been cheap. You can't really ask for much more than that. Okay, well, the Burley Cause? Tell me what you know about Burley Cause. He and his wife hadn't been living next door very long, maybe four months or so. But I didn't talk to either of them very much. They weren't interested in being neighborly, I guess. I see, okay. It's a shame, really. Maybe if we had known one another better, something like this could have been prevented. Mm, okay, Cause is murder. What happened on the day Mr. Cause was killed? I was here, at home doing my knitting as usual. All of a sudden, I heard a loud bang. It Ooh. sounded like a gunshot. I went and knocked on Mrs. Cause's door, but there was no answer. I did notice a smell though, like flowers. Flowers. Something seemed wrong. So I decided to report the incident to the police. Not long after that, an officer showed up and started asking questions. Awful man, he was so rude. I gotta report him, but I forgot his name. I think it started with a P. Parsons? Yes. <laughs> of course. Him. He called for some more officers and they got into the apartment. That's when I found out Mr. Cause had been murdered. Okay, well, Cause's wife. Where is Mrs. Cause now? I don't know, with her mother, maybe. That's usually how it goes. You wouldn't happen to know where that is, would you? I'm afraid not, but. Uh. Uh, there is one other thing. Yes? Don't say I told you this, but... Well, I used to hear the two of them through my wall. I tried ignoring it since it's really none of my business. But it became impossible. What was it you heard? I don't believe they had a happy marriage. They'd have awful fights a couple times a week. What would they fight mm. about? Oh, all sorts of things. The worst one was when she discovered he was going to a brothel. I think he might have hit her on a few occasions, too, but it can't be certain. I hope you don't think me a horrible old gossip, but I thought you might like to know. It's all important. Not at all. I'm glad you told me. Okay, a clue added. Let's ask about the Justice Killer. Are you familiar with the Justice Killer? You mean the serial killer who's been killing men in Chunli? Yeah, that's the one. Nah, never heard of him. <laughs> what? I'm just pulling your leg, Mr. Ford. <laughs> I like this one. She's got spirit. Unfortunately, I only know what I've read in the Gazette. But it's scary to think some maniac is loose on the streets doing such terrible things. And with Kurt going out by himself for hours at a time? Oh, I don't like it one bit. I appreciate your time, Mrs. Williamson. Have a good day, Mr. Fordham. She was nice. Okay, so we got a new clue as well from that. Find the Justice Killer, find out the identity of Ruby, find out who sabotaged the iron mill at the ironworks, learn more about Reggie Willingham's personal life, speak to the serving girl at the Ruin Coffee House. Clues, we've got two testimonies now. So, the interesting thing about this is, both of them supposedly became violent and hit their wives on occasion that could be a, a very important clue um what else have we got here we've got all this stuff so where do we go next that is the question it looks like we're potentially done investigating that little part of things um one area i do want to go to is to the the ironworks because lyle was pointing out we didn't actually go through to the the employee area when we were here before i completely forgot about that because this guy here asked us to investigate hey that area is for workers only my apologies oh, okay so we can't get through at all so maybe we need to um maybe we need to figure out who sabotaged this for him to let us in there 
So that takes that off the list for the time being. So we could go to the coffee house. That could be a thing we can do. Okay. So we've got... This is filthy in here still. Uh, serving girl. Is that who we're here to see? Begging your pardon, miss. How can I help you, sir? Uh, we were told to come here. Let's ask about herself first. You've been working here for quite a while, haven't you? I have, yes. Um, coming up on three years. Been a real pleasure getting to know all the regulars. They've come to be sort of like a, a second family. By the way, whatever happened with you and your lady friend? I beg your pardon? Well, that nice lady you met in here a couple of times. Did it work out between Oh, we the two went a couple. You? Oh, that? No, <laughs> that, that was strictly business. Well, if you see her, tell her I said hello. Okay, uh, Ennis Bowditch. I understand you were involved with Ennis Bowditch. Was involved, yes. I haven't spoken to him in nearly two months. Oh, uh, were you not aware of his death then? What? Ennis is, is dead? Yep. Well, this is awkward. Indeed. I'm sorry to have to be the bearer of bad news. H how did it happen? I'm afraid he was murdered. Murdered? By who? And and why? Those are exactly the questions I'm trying to answer myself. Oh, I see. Are you a detective? A private investigator, yes. Well, I'll answer what I can. If it helps any, that is. I'm certain it will. Okay, relationship. What was your relationship with Mr. Bowditch like? Oh, well, it was nice at first. He was uh, a proper gentleman-like. But then... Something changed. Oh? It's like I told Ruby. I think he might have got a hit on the head at work because he seemed to be a, a completely different person. Huh. He'd get angry for no reason. He even... Well, that, that bit's not important. At first, I thought he was just going through some rough times, but after a while, I realized he'd changed for the worse. So I broke things off. He wasn't too happy about it, but... I wasn't going to stick with a man like that. Interesting. Right, Ruby. This friend of yours, Ruby. Did she know an MP named Percival McDonough? I, I'm not sure. Ruby knows a lot of men. Is that so? Well, no, I, I don't mean... It's just... Oh, damn it all, me and my big mouth. She'll have my guts for garters now. It's all right. No one's in trouble. But I think I'd like to speak with Ruby. Could you tell me where I can find her? Uh, no. You see, she moves around quite a lot. Never in the same place for more than a, a night or two. Hmm. Right. I think she's given us a clear picture of what Ruby does for a living. Yeah. Normally, I'd be all for pressing this girl more until she cracks, but I like her. I think we'll be able to find Ruby without causing her more discomfort. Well, thank you for the information. You've been very helpful. Another objective added. <laughs> They're really stacking up. Are you familiar with the Justice Killer? Justice killer? Is that some kind of pesticide? <laughs> uh, no, it isn't. Never mind. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you, sir. So interesting. So she she uh, hinted at the fact that uh, Ennis was also abusive. That this is really starting to point towards that being a key part of what's going on, isn't it? Uh, locate Ruby. So we spoke to the serving girl at the coffee house, but that's still there. Uh, learn more about Reggie Willingham's personal life. Find out who sabotaged the iron mill. Find the justice killer. Um, we've got the lamp depot. Did There was another person at the lamp depot, wasn't there? But I don't know. He went sort of off to here somewhere. So I don't know if we can go that way. I'm talking about when we first walked in here. In fact, no, it doesn't look like we can actually... Can we say anything else to this guy? May I ask you a few questions? Of course! Oh, yeah, we what can. What would you like to know? So we've got more questions for him. Redites. With all these promises of technological advancement, have the Redites given you any trouble? Ah, so this... Oh, those tech-fearing dolts. Yes, I, I'm sorry to say that we've gotten threats from them. They have yet to carry any out, which is unsurprising. How so? Groups like that are all bluster and no backbone. Not the I've seen some evidence to the contrary. Is that right? Well, uh, we've seen little beyond threatening letters, and I intend to make sure it stays that way. You okay. have any of these letters I might have a look at? Yes, I have one. 
I'll give it to you before you leave. Thank you. Your cooperation is much appreciated. Happy to help. Fine. So... Here's that letter you were asking about. We've got a letter. To the engineers of chaos and destruction, you are working in direct opposition of the natural order of things. The so-called improvements will be the downfall of our society. If you do not cease your unholy experiments, the Redites will be forced to take action. You have been warned. P.F. Now that's interesting. P.F. Whoever wrote this letter signed it with initials. They can't have been so stupid as to make themselves so easily identifiable, can they? Huh, okay, well, P.F could be a big clue actually uh did we mark that down anywhere no okay but we, we put it into our thing so we need to find a pf find the justice killer i'm guessing that's going to help us with this learn more about reggie willingham's personal life locate ruby uh okay so in terms of potential leads now things are drying up just a little bit um can we ask snelling about anything because obviously upton's out of the picture now yes, Fordham. so i wonder if snelling becomes the new upton so we can ask about the redites have you got any information on the redites the redites that ridiculous gang of troublemakers yes i have some information what's your interest in them a um, witness is refusing to speak with me unless i can figure out who sabotaged his iron mill I see. All I can offer is a list of names of known Redites along with their last known whereabouts. But I remind you that you only have until tomorrow afternoon before this indulgence expires. Yeah, I know. And I throw you in jail. This I seems know. like a waste of time. That's my decision to make. Very well. I'll give you the list when you're ready to leave. I need to get back to my investigation. Yes. Time is not on your side, Fordham. God, he's loving this, isn't he? So, can you give us the list? Here you are. Yes. This is the most recent list of known Redites. Thank you. Right. Redite activists. This is a lot of names. If we're going to track down this saboteur, it might be best to retire to a more tranquil environment. Fancy a trip back to Wopton's? Uh, okay. So we've got Clovis Sullivan, suspect in three instances of sabotage. Guy McKee, Paris Wilson... Or is that Farris? Paris Wilson? Marcus Chapman, uh, Peyton Ferguson, Lucian Donaldson. Uh, PF was the initials on that letter, right? So, Peyton Ferguson? Maybe? But he said to go back to Upton, so let's do that. Right. This should be a quiet enough spot to concentrate on finding that saboteur. I just hope Upton doesn't mind you turning her parlor into your own personal study. I'm sure she'll have no objection. Now, let's have a look at that list again. Okay. Uh, Clovis Sullivan. I think we can rule out Mr. Sullivan as a suspect. He's Western Vespuccia's problem now. Yeah. Uh, Western Vespuccia, which I believe is where Rosewater is set, isn't it? Uh, Guy McKee, arrested on charges of attempted murder. LKW, last known whereabouts darlington prison well not him unless mr mckee has escaped from prison which i highly doubt he's not our man uh paris wilson suspect in two instances of sabotage paris wilson those initials don't match the ones on the letter i don't think this is our suspect no marcus chapman in oh okay dead, if dead so men no. could cause explosions let's just say things would be a lot different this clearly isn't the right suspect it's, it's going to be peyton ferguson peyton ferguson the initials match those on the letter we got at the Lamplight Depot. I'd say it's our best bet. Okay. Uh, and Lucian Donaldson. Lucian Donaldson. Those initials don't match the ones on the letter. I don't think this person is our suspect. No, I don't think so either. Uh, is there anything else we can click on here? No. So, Peyton Ferguson is going to be our guy. Um, do we know where to get Peyton Ferguson? Yes. Okay, so we've got Peyton Ferguson there. We've also got Lucian Donaldson and Paris Wilson, but I, d I don't think those are the, the the guys, honestly. So let's go to Peyton Ferguson, because he's the one whose initials were on the letter. Well, well, who's this lovely specimen? Allow me to introduce Peyton Ferguson, known redite and prime suspect in a sabotage at the Thorbaum Ironworks. I picked him up and brought him straight to you. Ooh, a saboteur. 
Just leave them to me and I'll make them feel right at home. <laughs> I bet you will. Please find the justice killer soon, Miles. Being Giles' prisoner is not my idea of a good time. <laughs> right. I'll leave you to it then. Oh, so we just arrested him, did we? For the... For the explosion. I, I thought we were going to go and question him. Oh, and the other ones have disappeared, so maybe we just had to click who the right person was then? Right, okay, well. Um, okay, our list has suddenly gone down dramatically, so maybe we can now talk to this guy to say we found out the person? Mr. Mims, a word if you wouldn't mind? Yes, what is it? Yeah, nice, okay. Uh, Hannibal Kirkland. So let's let's talk about the sabotage first. I found the person responsible for sabotaging your iron mill. Oh yeah. His name is Peyton Ferguson. He's currently at the Bow Street Jail. Hey, not bad. I owe you one, detective. He certainly does. You do. And uh, <laughs> funnily enough, we have some questions. What can you tell me about Hannibal Kirkland? Good worker. Mostly kept to himself. Real shame what happened to him. Okay, his personal life. Do you know if anyone here disliked Kirkland? Enough to want him dead? Nah, there's the occasional scrap, but everyone around here gets along for the most part. Like I said, he mostly kept to himself. Head down, didn't bother nobody. Do you know what he did outside of work? No idea. I only ever saw him here. Okay. What about his work? You said Kirkland was a good worker? One of my best. I knew something was up when he didn't show up for a couple of days. Don't think he'd ever miss work before. Did he have any personal effects he kept here or an area where he worked? He had a cabinet downstairs in the workers' changing area, just like everyone else. You can go take a look if you want, but I don't think the police found anything. Kirkland's cabinet is the third one from the left. Ah, nice. So now we can get through. I thought that was going to be the case. Are you familiar with the Justice Killer? The who? He's a serial murderer who's killed five men over the past four months. Is that right? Never heard of him. He okay. may have killed one of your men. Weren't the police here asking about it? Oh, is that what that was all about? I know they came poking around here a while back, but I was busy dealing with other things. It's okay. nice to see the lines of communication here are wide open. <laughs> I'll be going now. Be careful on your way out. Yeah, thank you. So I guess we can now head through to this area here. So yeah, it seems like Snelling is the new Upton on this case, which makes sense because Upton is sort of out of commission, isn't she, because of what happened. So we'll have to remember that. We might have to go back to Snelling occasionally to get fed information. So... Tell you what, in the next one, we'll go through to the employee area, but that is going to do it for this one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Termini Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, and Numinous for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you next time.